Memorial Circle next to the East Hampton Public Library. And this is a circle which honors all men that died during wars that East Hampton um, was involved in. Um, these servicemen gave their life for their country. Um, and of course, it's very sad they would have to do that. We'll talk about the Universal Chronicle Order. And this is Vietnam, 1959-1975. Five men from East Hampton gave their lives during the course of that war from 1967 to 1969. Some more officers and uh, some more just privates. And you can see them here. There's Private First Class John Robito on the top of it. He was only uh, 19 years old. And when you go off to such a place, it's a very hard life. You can imagine what their life was like and how much they had to sacrifice, and then they end up dying there. But it's very nicely made. Almost every community in Massachusetts would have such a plaza, and if they don't, they, they should get one. For each man, they give their life. Now next to it is the one for Korea, 1950-1953. And three men from East Hampton gave their life for their country, helping to defend um, South Korea and trying to push the Chinese and the North Koreans further up the peninsula. They, they succeeded to a certain extent. And for instance, here are three men. The last one, Private First Class Harvey Lamaru, born 1932 and died 1953. He was 20 years old when he gave his life up. And it's very sad to have this happen. But the result is, of course, South Korea is a great country, and North Korea is a horrible country. And, and is that worthwhile? Sure. Now, behind it is the World War II and World War I monuments, and we'll look at it from a distance and walk over. Every man that was involved from East Hampton, and every woman that was involved from East Hampton, has their name on the bottom panels. But the ones that died are shown in the top. So we'll walk up to see the ones that died. All right, the top panel are the men that gave their life for their country from East Hampton during the course of World War II, 1941 and 1945. And it has the names of about um, 48, 46 men. That's a lot. And you see a lot of ethnic groups, Polish, uh, French Canadian, and Irish. And of course, it, it's a horrible thing, but you left, you left success behind. You stopped Nazi Germany, and you left Western Europe and most of Central Europe in a democratic state, which is a wonderful achievement. And of course, I mentioned below them are many more these are all the men and women that served during the course of World War II from East Hampton. Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of names. Okay, now on the back is the last part. In the oldest panel here, in the oldest plaque, on the bottom panels are the men and women. I don't know if there are anyone, but the men and, uh, if possible, someone that were in the Army, <coughs> the Navy, and the Marines during the course of World War I from East Hampton. And again, you see many names, a lot more French Canadian names than Polish. A lot of Polish were still young because they had come over around 1910. So a lot of French Canadian names all over the place, with some Irish names too. Now on the top panel, you see the men that died during the course of World War I from injuries or illnesses caused by that war. And if you count them up, there's 20 men's names. All right. Um, only most of these men we probably buried in Europe. Some probably were brought back here. And so this is a great honor to have your plaque here. Now, if you're counting, there's two wars that East Hampton should, would, would be involved in, but are here.
East Hampton is the youngest community in Hampshire County of the 30 communities. So we're going to spin around one last time. And you might see in the distance the old town hall with a high, not on the right, but on the left, it's a brick steeple. And on the front of that building is a Civil War monument. Anyone from East Hampton that went out to the Civil War and gave their life for their country to stop slavery is on a big panel on the front of East Hampton City Hall. A great honor. It's separate from this uh, Veterans Memorial Park because that was made first and they decided to make a big one over here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the original spot and do a spin around for you. Okay, now what we're going to do is, one last thing, we're going to rock around this circular plaza and we're going to point out all the institutions that are around it. We won't point out the houses, some of them are gorgeous, we'll just point out the institutions to help you orient yourself if you come to this area. Now, very obvious on the, on the masonry above the door, it says high school. This was East Hampton High School for a very long time until 1960 they built the other one um, in town and then later it became the Neil Pepin school an elementary school there's another school behind it and to the left and those make up the Pepin Center School which is the elementary school for East Hampton so big big beautiful high school became an elementary school now we're gonna walk around Down this street here, you're going to see the other school very, just barely. And we're going to have a separate web page and video for these two schools here. So I don't mention much about it. But this is school center for East Hampton. Or used to be back when people didn't have cars. This had to be right in the middle of town. All right, now if we look down this way, there's a white congregational church. That white plaid church has a rectory next to it so the priest can live there. It, this is the oldest church in Hampton. It's a very old church. I believe it's about 150 years old. Now in the distance on the left hand side of that road you see the former East Hampton Town Hall, now East Hampton City Hall. Most of the municipal government has moved out of that building because it's too small. So the records office, the police office, fire station is in different places but they kill, still have some. And that's the spiritual center of town and uh, the governmental center of the town. Now, lots of beautiful buildings around. So we'll scoot over one more time. All right. And here we can see the, one of the sides of the East Hampton Public Library. It's not anymore called the Emily Patrika Library, it's now just East Hampton Public Library. It's a very old building, I believe it's about 140 years old now. And it's a beautiful building. All the sides are beautiful. I think it's stained glass window towards the back here. And that's well worth a visit on the outside and inside. And I'm going to have its own page for that. But it's great that you can see all the many institutions around here. This was, uh, this set of streets was considered the center of East Hampton for a very long time. So I'm glad you came to see the memorial for the many servicemen and women that served East Hampton. Thank you.